Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. Hope you're all keeping well. So today we're going to be discussing the object of type int has no len. Uh, so what's it all about? Well, I was doing a bit of research in this and I was actually trying to understand it a bit more because I had come across it a number of times. And then I kind of logically figured out there was actually a very simple explanation for this. Um, if you look at line five and six, Anything that's int is essentially describing the count of something, or it's basically saying there's a hundred of Joes, there's a hundred people in the world, so on and so forth. So essentially, because it's that, you can't break it down into constituent parts to say a hundred is made up of 10, 20, 30, and so on and so forth to make up a hundred. It's not broken down and split into separate parts. So a hundred is, as you can see here in line five, an integer can be designed as purely to count the number of apples or the number of people, or so on and so forth. It cannot be viewed as having a length as a descriptive of the number of kernels of an object. So in essence, when you're doing your computer program and you're trying to get the length of an int, an int is 100. It's set in stone. It's not 99 plus one. It's not 80 plus 20, so on and so forth. It's just one figure. And it can't be broken down into its constituent parts. But if you come across this problem, there is a way to fix it. And we're going to go through that right now. So, how do we fix this problem? Well, quite easy. Um, if you had a variable that was an int, but you were getting this error, error uh, you probably can convert it to a different data type. So let's go through some different data types here. Uh, we'll take you through the examples and see how you can fix this. So, all I'm going to do is run this again. Okay. So this first line, um, I think nine, these first two lines, we've basically said is we've taken the value variable data, but we've basically converted it to a string. Okay. Uh, because it's a string, uh, you can run the lang function on a string and it will turn you back the length of that string. So the because it's a string, uh, it will it returns back uh, the length as the value three. And what it's basically doing is it's looking at one zero zero as three separate parts, and it's basically saying, oh, there's three bits to this string, gives you the value three. So that's what we see in the screen down here. Okay. Then the next the next three lines are basically let's highlight these. It's doing the same thing again, but it's a list. And essentially what it's doing is it's basically again getting the, looking at the list. It's saying, oh, it's broken into three different parts. And you can see that clearly by the commas there that the list uh, has three values. And it's printing out the list, obviously this bit of code, and saying that the length is three. So as you can see in the output here, the length is three. If we take the same approach again, um, but look at uh, tuples which are immutable, it is exactly the same approach. Uh, it looks at the tuple and it says, oh, there's three values in there to separate it by a comma. The length of, when we run the land function that, it gives back the, for the tuple, three values there. Okay, so the length is three. And finally, we have a dictionary. And it's, again, it has a, two, a key, key value pairing, and there's two of them. So age is the key, first key, and its value is one, and then name is the second key, and its value is two. And in this instance, when we run uh, the length function on that again, it's actually giving you back the length of the dictionary value is two. So in essence, to sum up, uh, when you come across this problem, you've always got to remember that, again, number one, we described in the outset, an integer can't have the length function applied to it, but there are ways of fixing it, and I've just described four different ways that you can convert it to a different data type and you will able to get them the length of that particular value. So I hope you enjoyed that today. It's very a very quick introduction to that type error. Um, plenty more videos coming soon on this. We have other videos that are actually described some similar type errors on this channel. Um, thanks for coming along. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button. We'll be online pretty shortly, weekly videos, update the website as well quite regularly with some of these topics. So keep an eye on both, you'll get to see the videos and the, web, the, the blog posting. We'll catch you soon and take care and thanks for popping by.